In this video we're going to look at ratio and how to solve ratio questions if you're given one of the quantities and not the total. So here's a typical question. In year 7 the ratio of boys to girls is 2 to 3. There are 75 girls. How many boys are there in year 7? So first of all you know that there's 75 girls and the girls part in the ratio boys to girls, the girls part in the ratio is 3. So you know that 3 parts equals 75. Okay, because the girls uh, is three parts and that's 75. So, always find what one part is. So, divide by three to get one part. So, one part would equal uh, 75 divided by three. So, 75 divided by three. Three into seven goes twice. Remain to one. Three into 15 goes five times. So, one part equals 25 students. Now, the question said, how many boys are there? Now, the boys in the ratio is two parts. So, if one part is 25 students, the boys is uh, will be two parts. Well, two parts will be 25 times 2. Well, 25 times 2 is 50. So, there's 50 boys altogether. Okay? And let's just double check that. So, if one part was equal to 25 students, the boys would be... Um, 50 students, 2 times 25 is 50, and the girls would be 3 times 25, which is 75. So that means 50 uh, boys, 75 girls. Seems right, well done. Okay, this time the question says, at a concert, the ratio of adults to children in the audience is 2 to 3. There are 786 children in the audience. How many adults were in the audience? So first of all, let's just have a look at the information. So we know the ratio of adults to children so adults is two parts, children is three parts, so the children is three parts, and there's 786 students, or children. So that means that the three parts is 786 children. So three parts equals, and uh, we know there's that one because adults is the two, children is the three, and the children, three parts is 786. So three parts equals 786. So we need to find what one part is, so one part, so we're going to divide 786 by 3, okay? So you just divide by the number of parts to find what one part would be, okay? So use your bus shelter method. So divide 3 into 7 goes twice, remainder 1. 3 into 18 goes 6 times, no remainder. And 3 into 2 goes, uh, 3 into 6 goes twice. So one part is 262. Now we want to know how many adults there were in the audience. So the adults is the two part. So to get two parts, you're going to times this number by two. Okay, so you times one part by how many parts you need. So you're going to do 262 times two. And when you do that, you're going to get four, two, remember one, or two, carry the one. And 2 times uh, 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So the answer would be 524 adults. So the main thing on a question, whenever you're given one quantity and you know the ratio, you divide the quantity by whatever number that is in the ratio, you get what one part would be, and then you times by the other number in the ratio to find out how many people or how many things are in the parts that you need. If they want to know how many people are in the audience all together, you would add the number of children, 786, to the 524 adults, and then that would tell you how many people all together are in, in the audience. Okay. Leah, Chloe, and Maya share £400 between them. Leah receives the smallest amount of £90. The ratio of Leah's share to Chloe's share is 2 to 3. Work out how much Maya receives. So first of all, let's just break the question down. So we know how much money they get all together. Good. You know that Leah and Chloe share some uh, money in the ratio 2 to 3. And you know that Leah gets £90. So that means that the £90 is going to be two parts. So £90 is two parts. Always find out what one part is going to be. So if £90 is two parts, if you half it, you're going to get the £45 is equal to one part. And if you need to find how much uh, Chloe gets, Chloe was the three parts in the ratio, so you times it by three. So you're going to do £45 times three, and then that will tell you how much then that Chloe gets. So 45 times three, three times five is 15, carry the one, three times four is 12, add one is 13. So £135. So £135 is the amount that uh, Chloe gets. So let's just write that down. Chloe 
gets £135. Uh, Leah gets £90. And altogether, there's £400. So if you add these two together, so if you add Leah and Chloe's together, you're going to get 5. 9 plus 3 is 12, so 2 carry the 1. So that's £225. That's how much Leah and Chloe get. So then you just need to take that away from the £400 to see how much then Mayor gets. So Mayor, £400 minus the £225 is going to be, carry the 1, carry it again. 9 take away 5 is 5. Nine take, oh, 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 2 is 7. And 3 take away 1, or 3 take away 2 is 1. So that means that Mayor gets £175. So just to recap that question. Um, the top bit tells you how much there is altogether. You know that Leah gets £90 and the ratio of Leah to Chloe is 2 to 3. So if you do £90 for Leah, and that's two parts, then £90 is two parts. Half it gives you £45 as one part. And if you times it by Chloe's number in the ratio, which is the 3, 45 times 3 is £135. So that means that um, Chloe gets £135. Then you can add the 90 and the £135 for Chloe and Leah to find then how much they have altogether, which is £225. And then the, you know that uh, altogether there's £400, so if you take the £225 away from the £400, you find how much Meg gets, which is £175.